Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. This is Alex coming to you from the ASCE headquarters. And today we're going to show you how to make an awesome St. Patty's Day themed headband. Here's what the final product is going to look like. And you only need a couple of items that are super simple to find. You might even have some at home. Um, but all you need is a pair of scissors, some felt. Obviously, we chose green to stay with the St. Patty's Day theme. Get those at your local craft store, maybe even your dollar store. Um, a threading needle and some thread. And of course a hot glue gun just to keep everything together. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is grab your felt. I'm going to use two different colors of green because I have two different four leaf clovers and I wanted them to be a different color. You can use any color or, or type of fabric that you like. Um, felt just works great and it's super cheap at your craft store. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold our felt in half like this. What we're doing is we're cutting out the shapes of the four leaf clover and we're going to kind of go for this half heart, half square shape looking thing. So it's super simple if you fold your felt in half and then just cut it like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the felt. A total of four of these and if you want to do two different colors you need four of each color so go ahead and cut the amount needed so i'm going to go ahead and cut three more of these i wanted to try and get them as close to the same size as possible if they're you're you know, a little off here and there it's okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to lay out my four and then i'm going to go ahead and grab my needles make sure you be careful um, it doesn't matter what size needle you use it kind of just depends on what type of thread you have um, the thread that I have is a little small, um, so my, my needle is going to be a little bit smaller. Once I have my thread through the needle, I can start uh, putting my four-leaf clover together. So this is super, super simple. Again, be careful, you are using a needle. So what you want to do here is just kind of fold like a little accordion. Like a little W. Fold it just like that, okay? A little accordion style. And then all you want to do is just stick your needle through the felt like that, okay? And then you want to go ahead and do that with all the rest of them. So the rest of the three, fold it like an accordion and thread it through. Make sure all of them are going the same direction. We don't want our four leaf clover to be. All right, once you have all four threaded through on your string, it will look like this. Go ahead and take that needle off. If you like, I'm gonna leave mine on because I have to do another, I'm gonna do another one after this. Uh, so all you wanna do is just tie one side of the string to the other and pull tight and it will form a circle. Go ahead and cut off the extra string or yarn that you have used. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then that is your four leaf clover. So I'm going to go ahead and make my other one right now because I want to have two for my headband. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to attach your four leaf clovers onto a headband. Um, in this instance, we're using a tool. You can use a normal headband, you can put it, glue it to a bobby pin or a barrette, whatever you want works best. We love this gold glitter tool, so that's what we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and measure out hmm, probably about this much just to go around the head. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So now we have this long strip of tool. Ours is kind of thick here, so I like to fold it in half. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. Okay, so I just folded this in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it down here, kind of set it off to the side. Um, again, we're using tools, so it's, it does have little holes in it. It's kind of like a little fishnet, if you would. Um, so in order not to get hot glue on your head or it not stick to your head or anything like that, um, I'm going to cut out a little piece a, of felt, like a strip, so I can glue it onto the back of my four leaf clovers and then glue that onto the tool. Here's my strip. Um, so I'm just going to put a few dabs of hot glue right in the middle. And then all I'm going to do is just attach it to the back of the four leaf clover. 
here is my tool. Um, I kind of like mine off to the side a little bit, so I'm not going to put it in the direct middle. Um, really, you can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to go ahead and stick to one side. I'll probably leave about two, three inches of extra towards the end. That way we can tie it around your head. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my four leaf clover, stick it right on my tool, and glue. So stick a little bit of glue on that strip that we just connected, and then attach it to your tool. And I'm going to take that other set of um, felt, that strip that we just cut, that second one, and stick it right on top of the tool and onto the four leaf clover. Okay, so I have just attached one of my four leaf clovers to my tool. So there it is, and then there's the back there. Okay, and then as for the bigger one, I'm just going to kind of put it right next to it, offset it a little bit, and do the same exact thing. Strip on the back, and then uh, strip on the other side of the tool just to secure it. Okay, so I just finished gluing on my second four leaf clover, and I also added a gem for the middles, just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. You could use anything from a little gem like I did, a button, or you can even put a little flower on there too if you like. So all that's left now is to put it on. Now you're all set for St. Patty's Day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.